Australia I'm going out back, out back to Australia See you there! G'day, it's Taro here from Sunland Caravans and today we're going to have a look at a 20 foot 6 Phoenix that's just rolled out of the factory and ready for delivery for its new owners. Um, this one's got some nice features so let's have a quick look. All right, first one you'll notice is this is a composite van. Composite van being a sandwich panel construction, so a fiberglass foam core composite. We can tell that by looking at it by this front um, shape. So we've got the nice rounded front shape on the, um, the Phoenix. If it was an a aluminium frame van, which is the other construction style we'll do, it has that um, sculptured front. So visually, if you're not sure which one it is, this is what the difference is. Rounded front versus the sculpt sculpted front for the aluminium frame. These guys have put a few options on it. Uh, one of them being one of those work lights, those Narva work, work lights up the top there. We um, give you the option to have one of them at the front and at the back. I guess they're a pretty good option um, if you're going to be camping out at night and you, you want to be able to see around the, the front and the back of the van. Come down the side, well, sorry, Phoenix toolbox. This is the standard Phoenix toolbox, which is the powder coated um, toolbox. We've got storage in this side, our two nine kilo gas bottles in the center and a generator slide on the other side. Uh, there is a few different toolboxes available in our range. Uh, including gull wings and a smaller version of the gull wing as well. Um, but speak to us and we can show you a little bit more info on that. Through boot. So we do have this huge big th um, through boot or tunnel boot. In here, we've fitted a Sizzler barbecue, a marine grade stainless steel barbecue. This is standard equipment on the, the Phoenix range. It can be optioned for other different kitchens and other different sort of barbecues, but I quite like this little one. If you have a look, it's got a stainless steel plate. It has a roasting rack two jets so you can adjust the temperature. The drain here, the fat drain drips down into a tray then pulls out so it keeps it clean. It's nice and easy to make clean and maintain. Perfect for two people who, who want to go camping. And the other thing I like about it is when you push it back in, when you push it back in, it doesn't take up the whole space so we've still got storage beside the, beside the um, barbecue to access the rest of the through boot. The finish comes with two external tables. This one's no different to normal but these guys have actually opted to have a secondary 240 power outlet and I guess that would be good if you want to use an induction portable induction cooktop which is what they've got inside or any other sort of electrical appliance having it right here next to the table is very handy as we go down the van side of the van the standard suspension on the crew um, on the Phoenix is Cruise Master XT auto airbag suspension which this van has fitted in this little hatch here is our, air con our airbag controls so we've got our left and right controls for your bags, manual and auto. If you hit auto, that will go. the van will go automatically back to the level that it's required for towing. And it comes with an airline too, which is handy for um, reinflating tyres if you've deflated them to go on um, heavy duty off-road um, tracks. External marine speakers are standard. This is our entertainment hatch. So basically what this is about is you can lift your TV off the wall inside the, the van and come and mount it here just using that bracket there. We've got 240 power, 12 volt accessory power. In this case, it's got HDMI connections and everything through for your satellite as well. And these guys have got an optional um, Anderson plug there, which they must be running another appliance. I'm not really sure what they're gonna do with that one, but it's inside that hatch. Another external, ha another external table, of course. All right, hot water system. So we use the Gerard instant hot water system. So not a, it's a non-holding tank um, system. So it heats the water as it goes through, through the pipelines. We fit a red water valve, diverter valve to that system as well, so that initial cold water gets recycled back into the, into the system, so you, you don't lose any water. It's a very, very efficient system. It uses very little gas, because it only works when the tap has been turned on, so it's not constantly boiling over. We've got an external gas bayonet. There was one at the front for the barbecue, but we've also fitted one down the back here, so you, they can use another portable barbecue or appliance down the back here as well. Rear bumpers, so we haven't put the caps on this one yet, but our rear bumpers are an aluminium pole which house the lights and the number plates and all the bits and pieces we need, but it's also a pole carrier, so you can put in your awning, anti-flap kits, fishing rods, or anything else you might want to carry with you. In this back service hatch here, this is locate, This is for underneath the shower inside the van. So inside here, we've got that hot water system unit I was just talking about. We've got our Truma gas heater, which goes through the floor then, then goes out through the, down, down the middle of the van. We've got our two water pumps, our water filter, our red water valve, which is what that one is up the end there, and our other plumbing controls there as well. 
The Phoenix Caravan comes standard with a 190 litre general purpose water tank which is fitted right in the middle of the axles in the centre of the van which helps with balance and it also comes fitted with standard with a 60 litre drinking only water tank. What we've done in there is we've actually fitted a valve so whilst those two tanks are, never, are not plumbed together and they don't transfer water from one to another, if you'd have run out of the 190 litre water tank and, but you still had your, your 60 litres, you can turn that valve and now everything will draw from that 60 litre valve. Um, water tank. So you could use that as an auxiliary water tank or a spare water tank if you wanted to. These guys have had these two um, poles or two, two racks here fitted, um, fitted here. These are for um, external rubbish bag bags, like what you put on the back of your four-wheel drive spare tyre. Not, not a bad little idea to have that there, I don't think. Power. Okay, so this has got the standard Phoenix power, which is a huge amount of power. It's two 225 amp hour lithium batteries and a 3000 multi plus Vitron inverter slash charger. That, coupled with four 180 watt solar panels on the roof, that is a lot of power. That, um, you'll find that for most people that should be adequate, but we do give you the ability to up that to three, four, five, and even six. We've done that in a couple of vans too. Once we start getting to those sort of levels, it does affect the inside though, because we're gonna have to take away drawers and stuff in the ensuite to be able to fit it. So three fit in here perfectly. You go much more than that, you will have to make some other modifications, but we can do that. We'll just, just need to chat to us. Let's go and have a look inside the van. All right, so now we're inside the van. First, we'll start at the bed end. So this is a full-size queen mattress. So full household size width and length. It's a, also a pillar top Inos inner spring mattress on gas lift up struts. So I'll show you underneath the bed because I don't do that very often. You'll see how much storage we've got underneath there. So in this case, we've got a storage compartment at the back there, another storage compartment here and we have two slide out um, baskets, which are perfect for shoes. And I'll see if I can pull them out and the cameraman can step back a little bit. All right, so these are perfect for shoes or any other items you have, you, you might have. What I like about this scenario is you can actually access that from outside the van. So you don't even need to step into the van to be able to uh, open that um, cupboard there. So perfect for your shoes in that, in that respect. All right, I'll put that back down, which is easy enough to do. Just hold onto it and don't let it drop. Windows. So the windows we use are an Aussie Traveller brand window. These are a full block out line like we are now. A black midge proof screen. And a double glazed tinted window as well. All right. These help um, obviously with insulation and keeping the, cool, um, the temperature cool in the van or warm in the van depending on which season you're in. We attach these together. One feature I really do like about this is these pelmets. So these pelmets are just a click to open them up and then we can access the me mechanism. Now, if you have these windows, like any windows, they actually need to be lubricated reasonably often. I don't think a lot of people talk about that. I suggest using a bit of silicon spray, maybe every six months or so, just a little bit of s spray in the corners there to keep it all lubricated and you'll find that these will operate a lot easier. All right, what else have we got in here? Okay, Sirocco fans. So these guys have gone with an interesting choice, but one I like actually. We've got two, 12 volt Sirocco fans on the ends of these um, two gables here. So we can get to the, the seating and to, and to the bed. We've also, they've also optioned to have an NCE um, 12 volt fan under the, the overhead cupboard here. So this fan here, which can be di um, directed, directed in many different ways, is also oscillating too. And it comes with a little remote control, which is just magnetically attached to the fan. Now, Phoenix has normally come with an Evo stone bench top, but these guys have decided to save the weight, and probably a few dollars too, actually, and go with the laminated bench top. I do like the choice of this laminate, actually. It looks really nice, this marble effect. You, as you'll notice, they've got no cooking whatsoever in this. So what they've decided to do is go with an induction cooktop, a portable induction cooktop, and free up the bench space, which I think works really well. Nice big uh, stainless steel sink, no draining board, because they don't leave their, their dirty dishes sitting on the draining board for, for very long anyway. So. This is really a very, very big preparation area here. What it also has allowed us is to do extra drawing drawers. So this is a 2023 cabinetry change that you'll see in the 2023 models and selected 2022 models. But we've got three drawers, soft clothes of course, flush fitting, pantry. Now these pantries are more like a shelf than the conventional wide pantry. Much deeper, less likely for things to fall out and you can get a lot more stuff in there too. A lot more space, usable space. Where you'd normally only get one drawer, these guys got now two drawers because we don't have a cooktop. So a big pot drawer there, another and another drawer there. Underneath the sink, we have a cupboard with a small drawer and a bigger storage area there. Now we could put another shelf, mid shelf there, or if you've got bigger items like coffee machines or whatever, that's a perfect spot for it. 
And then the big difference between 2022 and 2023 with this kitchen galley is normally the galley would be curved, but we've squared it up, which has allowed us to put these two, these two drawers here. So this one will be a nice big drawer there. And this one here is supposed to be a bin drawer, but I think these go, oh yep, they've gone done with the swing out door and a rubbish bin, double rubbish bin there. Right, so if you can see, I don't know if you can see that in the video. Plenty of storage up at this end on the, on the bench space as well. PowerPoint, so you could sit your coffee machine there or, or, anything, or any other appliance you use. Microwave. These microwaves now don't have a ro um, rotating plate, so it's a flat bedded microwave. We don't have to worry about the plates breaking. Our stereo controls up in the top corner here. Our water pumps controls, outdoor speaker controls. This side of the van, well, sorry, we'll go back to here. Cafe dinette. So this is our conventional cafe dinette and still by far and away the most popular one. Um, in this case, they've gone with the Millennium Gun Barrel Leather, which is by far and away the most popular um, leather that we do. We've got our controls up up on the top here. So we've got our 240 um, outlet, our water tank gauges, our battery monitors, or well, inverter controls, battery monitor, USB um, outlet. If you have a look, USB, double USBs, and a 12 volt socket as well. I also have USB-C um, plugs coming through the system too. So if you want them, just let Michael know and we'll, we'll fit them. They've gone with a, an extra little map pocket up there that our, our poultry and Noel has made for, for these people, which is handy. 12 volt compressor fridge. So these are, these are a Dometic 12 volt compressor fridge. You'll see there are 188 liters in, in full size. Metal shelves with a, with a rail to stop things falling off. Decent size freezer there. Let's have a look in the bathroom. So Michael's, Michael's mentioned to me that we, a lot of people can't get a gauge on how much room there is around the toilet through the videos. So I'm gonna try and demonstrate this. My dad, Roy, often does it, but I don't think I've ever known. So if I sit here on the loo, I'm not exactly a small person. So this gives you some sort of idea. I've plenty of shoulder room, elbow room. I think um, if you go too much smaller than this, it would be a problem, but this is actually perfect. We've got our towel rails here, our recessed towel rails with, an, with a, a light in there as well. Room for your toilet rolls and, or any other toiletries you might have. And on this side we have our linen press, which is completely emptied with three shelves. Heaps, of, you can get heaps of stuff in there. 20 foot six gets these three additional drawers. So this is the big difference between a, 23, a 20 foot six ensuite and a 18 or a 19 foot six ensuite. They don't get their drawers, these, the 20 foot does. I think they're very handy. This is all about to do with space. Your overhead cupboards as well. Again, if you look through our cabinetry, just about every cupboard is emptied or very, very close to being empty. So you get the full use of the cabinetry. We are seeing a lot of other vans on the market. They might have lots of cupboards, but then you have batteries and all sorts of stuff in there that, so you can't even use it as storage. Fiberglass vanity, which is a nice molded fiberglass vanity. Gets the sink at a nice height. Keeps the drain to the very back of the sink. Now, why we want to do that is the plumbing or the drain waste will go straight down. If it was in the center, we wouldn't be able to have a drawer like that. So it's all about trying to save space. Washing machine. So this has got a 3.3 kilo top load washing machine. If you see these washing machines, have got these little peg baskets that also hold the drum when moving. We have got provision to go with a front loader washing machine. I'll bet most people go with the top loader because they just seem to be more convenient. If we can have a look, turn around and have a look at the shower. So this is this is a fully molded one piece shower, fiberglass shower, with a with an integrated seat, so you can sit on you can sit in there um, and do whatever you want to do. And obviously, you have got your um, hot water system and everything below it. The base of the shower is sloped, so even the van's not perfectly level, the shower should still drain. We've got a venting hatch in the roof, and we have these shower blinds. So let me talk about this shower blind, because this is a little bit unusual. You don't see this on too many caravans. But basically what we've got here is a blind, which is a pers Perspex blind. That the reason we use this is for, for a few different reasons, actually. It's extremely lightweight. The, door, um, the blind itself is bigger than the door opening, so you don't get this shower door leaking. If you have a shower, you should, and you should not ever have any water on the floor. All right. When you... Close, open the door, it rolls back into a cassette. And that's what that is in there. It has a little squeegee blade in there and it actually cleans itself, cleans itself and wipes the water back into the shower, which is a really handy feature. But what I like about this more than anything is that 99% of the time, that shower door is open. 
So you, the shower doesn't get moldy and musty and smelly with age, like they do in most caravans. And it helps keep the, the ensuite nice and light and open as well. All right, so that's the 20 foot six Phoenix for now. Obviously we've got more vans coming through and we'll do some more videos in up, upcoming weeks. Um, if you'd like any more information, visit Sunland's website, um, Facebook page, or uh, make contact with myself or Michael directly and book, book yourself an appointment to come and see us directly. We can show you how we build the van here at the factory. We only sell factory direct, all right? So just remember that. So if you want to buy a new Sunland caravan, you've got to come through myself or Michael through Sunland's factory here in Caboolture, Queensland. Um, if you've got any questions, please give us a call. Otherwise, like and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. So tell your friends this place that you have found And tell the world it's better than it sounds Say so come and see our country's best by far You'll find me there, Where? out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia Where friends they will shake your hand Say good day. They'll wave as you're passing through. They'll help in every way. But most of all, they'll welcome you. And one day you will say, I'm going out back, out back Australia. 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 See you there.